All right, what's up guys? And well, you know what? We're going back to Reddit. Ad problems actually uh, getting people on uh, Twitter to join. So I, you know, I went to the glorious part that is Reddit and I'm going up against Teo. And as always, I'm worried. Usually that means Ubers. This is a genuine team. <laughs> Teo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry with that intro. This is actually quite incredible. Um, I do own the speeds here. Um, there is no Sunny Day team here. However, there are Salasal and uh, Venusaur. Um, I don't lose too much actually with Star with Arcaean. Unless he leads off with something like very ferocious, I think I'm rather free here with uh, with starting off with Arcaean. Um, the only one that actually beats it is um, Aegis Slash. Which, by the way, I don't switch into at all. You never prep for Aegis Slash, you just manage it once you see it. <laughs> that's the strat, that's, that's the game plan. Oh, what a lovely, lovely clothing on this guy. So right, leads off with Hippo, uh, which by the way will outspeed me no matter what. Um, but my best part here is that um, his Stealth Rock, if there are plays, can be defogged by my Flygon. So, trying to get as much damage in there as possible. Stealth Rock or Earthquake, or even switching out. Goes for Earthquake, so rather aggressive. I think he risk of losing his um, hippo for this. I think that's one risk too big. And that's why we use BHM. Like, it's the BHM week for a reason. It doesn't lose against defensive mon and sure as hell can beat them. But this also comes with a backside. AG Slash. That's not AG Slash. <laughs> okay, but at the same time, do I even stain against this? No, you're asking the wrong question. Can you survive a hit from this? Could Colberberry strat here, I guess. Damn, I don't switch into this guy at all, do I? Can I use BHM any more longer? I guess I could. But I also have free switching going my way if I want to. I can also put this guy on a timer. There are a lot of really good things going my way if I successfully play this. Ah! No, he goes for dark. He goes for dark as Lyrus here and just knock me out. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm overthinking this. Knock me out, buddy. You deserve it. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Okay. Okay. So the way I see it, I think this makes most sense. Because I have the Colberberry, I'm going to be slower and I can Strength Sap. I can punish his, like, neutral play here. Dark Dark Larry's makes sense. Unless he's banded, um, I should be able to stomach this hit fine. And make him less of a threat. Oh, yeah, 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 we're good. And we get the Parish Bonded, which means we're both will faint in three turns. And you get to decide, buddy, what you want to do with that. By the way, this also means that I can survive a Darkest Lariat or a hit from him anyway. But my play here is um, actually to set up Stealth Rocks. He can keep on punishing me, but basically with Strength Sap, I'm kind of get back on track no matter what. And I could Shadow Ball just be very cheeky to get as much damage as possible in there. But I just want to punish his switchins, as I believe if I play in this game badly, then I will be punished for it. Not that I ever played badly. <laughs> oh, he's thinking, so uh, yeah, I guess I got him in the kind of got him cornered. Goes to Venusaur. Which I think is alright. I mean, I am somewhat specially defensive, and I should be able to at least get one hit in there before I'm forcing myself out. And Venusaur is actually, it's quite a threat. It's Black Sludge, it's somewhat defensive too. So, yeah, Ice Beam. He could Leech Life here, or Toxic, that's actually quite nasty. I think that's fair. <sighs> so 
So take this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So synthesize, I think. He will recover half of his HP. And I can always abuse my um, parish body or whatever. Um, switching Endurant all, I don't believe there's a downside to that. As, um, yeah, with, he with Ross, so that's actually quite nasty. To Exagid. I actually think I got the better play here, or at least a better exchange. Because, yeah, he could have Kin Shield. Um, leftovers. Ooh, right. So I think it starts out with King Shield just to gauge me. Soul Stance. Alright, so we got a Shadow Sneak thing in the Bobby. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so. He got a Shadow Claw or Close Combat. I think Shadow Claw makes more sense. And I don't have a fist switch into that, so I guess we knock off again. Just stomach whatever he wants to do. But Shadow Claw should absolutely ruin me. I don't have over prediction, maybe? Or getting a flinch, which would be, all things considered, a quite fair... You know what? I can respect that play. That was not a bad play, just me trying to um, think what I was going through, but yeah, I get it. So here comes Lassel. Is it Heavy Duty Boots? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... That means Mirage is faster, so... We you turning on this, by the way, for obvious reasons, but let's see. Here comes either sub or flamethrower. Yeah, or fire blast would have been aggressive. I'm gonna stomach this. Don't get burned. Nice. And now we U turn. This is not a match of your win, buddy. You know that. Please, <laughs> like, don't make me the fool here. Here comes BM, I think. Or beware. No? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is me like. Hmm. Hmm. Saru do outspeed it. And overall, Saru is not very good this game. But you just beats it also. Because Saru just baits in. Yeah, but I still gotta do it. Like. Bug Buzz E, by the way, kills me, like. Straight on at it. Uh, but I don't believe Slash will Okos me. I, however, do believe Beware. Um, has nothing on me. Or, I mean, Beware probably destroys me. Venusaur can come in. I think Venusaur is still active. Here comes at least not Salasal. Yeah, Venusaur is left. Beware Salasal. Like the way I see it, there is nothing Saru can do to any of these anyway. Question is whether or not I can bulk up and survive a hit here. Let's find out. This can be either the smartest thing or dumbest thing I've ever done. Here comes the close combat. It is officially one of the dumber things I've done. Because now I need to connect that power whip. He has a minus one. I think he adds, he is at risk of losing it. Sarood, Sarood. But it's still fluffy. 
Oh no. All right. You know what? No, you know what? No, no, no. This was a good play. <laughs> I think I didn't do that as stupid as I thought it looked like. Um, all right. Don't want to wrap up. I can. I think I wrap up with any of these mons. Gonna send an Ascentio and basically go for that sniper shot. Because since we know they're heavy duty boots on. Um, I actually don't know how this game will go. With scope lens, for sniper, for a 50% chance of actually scoring crits. Don't start off with one, but yeah, we got that. Venusaur comes in and it is in a horrific range of HP so that Ice Beam will just be icing on the cake or Ice Beam on the cake whack and his last is Slassel to be honest too if you look at this game I think I think what is missing for this team to really really punish me even though I love Beware and I think that was a very cool mod to have in this team I would very much have liked to see a Torkoal, to see something that really, really boosted both. Um, by the way, I could choke if I was doing something weird here. No, gonna shot, cool. So probably a um, corrosive toxic variant with, you know what, you know, all the jazz that just are so scary to see. Um, it's gonna wrap it up with a crit. And that's gonna be Gee. Like I said, if Torkoal were this team, I don't know what to exchange. But, um, I mean, we saw he powered on, so like, there was a strat involved by that. But, see, uh, Torkoal would have boosted, of course, the Fire Blast from Slash or Flamethrowers, and more so, Venusaur would have been a dormant force. And probably a Pokemon that I naturally don't beat because of Weather Ball. And uh, since I don't have Weather on my side, I think I think that would have worked great. So I really want to see something with that. That said, this synergy was awesome. And while I come out on top, I sure as hell know exactly how, this, how awful this game could have went. And um, be him breaking up a power was probably one of the biggest wins I ever got in, in quite some time. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And Dateo, GG, you're real awesome. I love the team. Uh, so take care, everyone, right?